हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दी स्ट्रांगेस्ट फोर्स स्ट्रांगेस्ट फंडामेंटल फोर्स ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्स द स्ट्रांग न्यूक्लियर फोर्स हियर वी आर ब्रिंगिंग ए ग्राफ फॉर पोटेंशियल एनर्जी वर्सेस द सेपरेशन ऑफ द न्यूक्लियम्स व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन द वेरियस एक्सपेरिमेंट्स व्हिच वर परफॉर्म थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड and uh, that uh, from those experiments it was concluded that the nuclear force varies in accordance in accordance to this graph means when the separation is very small uh, of the order of say uh, zero this is this corresponds to 1 femtometer means uh, if the separation is less than uh, 0.25 femtometer then the force is highly repulsive here you see and as this uh, separation is increased it finally becomes zero at some distance equal to in a typical case uh, 0.5 femto and uh, as this separation is further increased the the same nuclear force which was acting repulsive for a particular distance r0 and less than r0 became equal to 0 for a distance equal to r0 and then it the if the further separation between the nucleons is increased the the same nuclear force a strong nuclear force becomes attractive in nature and as this separation is increased gradually the force of attraction also increases and uh, finally it reaches a maximum at say 0.8 femtometer approximately and once this maximum is reached now if the separation between the nucleons is further increased this force attractive force remains the remains attract, attractive but the magnitude of attractive force is, uh, starts reducing exponentially very rapidly and uh, mm -hmm. within a very short span of up to 2 femtometer it becomes nearly 10% of the maximum force of attraction which it was having at say 0.8 femtometer what is 1 femtometer 1 femtometer 1 femtometer means 10 to the power minus 15 meter and uh, the strong nuclear force is responsible for holding the fundamental particles quarks quarks that make up protons and neutrons you see proton and neutron are made up of quarks up quarks and down quarks but without going into the greater details about the quarks how they form proton and neutron we we will take that these are the funda uh, fundamental particle which constitutes which uh, when brought together forms proton or a neutron and this strong nuclear force is responsible for holding the quarks and also it holds the nucleons in the nucleus this fundamental strong nuclear force obeys uh, is formed based on the rule e is equal to delta mc square means the strength the energy of the fundamental force is derived on conversion of certain mass mass defect into the form energy form and uh, this is very short range because we have just seen that it becomes it attains a maximum at 0.8 femtometer and reduces to 10% of its maximum at uh, a distance of 2 femtometer so that means it is a very short range um, force and it is responsible for holding the mainly holding the nucleons in the nucleus also the nucleons are formed by the fundamental particle quarks 
and these quarks are also held by this strong nuclear force itself and therefore you can very much now visualize that why the binding energy of per nucleon of lighter nuclei are, uh, are so uh, less and uh, those of uh, having A greater than 120 are also uh, lesser because this is because of the fact that you see less mass conversion is required less mass conversion is required to produce enough energy to hold the nucleons of lighter nuclei because the, the, if we take an example of hydrogen in case of hydrogen the radius is nearly 0.85 femtometer and therefore and therefore you see the 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 holds the the nucleons are held together very tightly and therefore it is very stable nucleus and since less mass needs to be uh, converted into energy to hold them because the same energy is uh, having maximum grip when the distance is nearly 0.8 femtometer and therefore less energy mass is converted to provide enough energy to hold those nucleons strongly and therefore the lighter nuclei are having a smaller binding energy per nucleon and same is uh, true for for A greater than 120 there you see that the uh, the 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 this the nucleons are now far apart means say for example it is uh, nearly equal to 6 or 7 femtometer uh, the radius of those nuclei nucleons nuclei are uh, very large as compared to hydrogen of the order of uh, 6 or 7 femtometer and therefore the 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 binding energy per nucleon is uh, less as number of nucleons are more and uh, the, the 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 nuclear force is uh, uh, not able to hold them very uh, tightly very strongly and when we uh, when we have the disintegration of heavy nuclei into lighter nuclei these becomes stable now we will talk about nuclear reaction nuclear reaction is a process in which the nucleus changes into another type or types of nucleus and releases enormous heat and other fundamental particles during this process such as um, neutrino, antineutrino, mesons, etc. So in this nuclear reaction what happens is the nucleus is either broken into two pieces which is known as fission reaction or two lighter nuclei are fused together, stick together, merged together to form a heavier nuclei of more stable configuration that is known as fusion. So that's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.